All right, so earlier this week, we had some pretty interesting news that Dallas Stars defenseman John Klingberg had fired his long-term agent, Peter Wallen, in order to go over to Newport Sports Management. Now, this is a pretty interesting move. Because Klingberg is a guy that, as we have talked about in previous videos, is a pretty big fish free agent player on the NHL market. He is, as the profile goes out there and says, 29 years old, right-handed, 6'1", as a defenseman, and he put up a pretty good amount of points last season, 47 points in 74 games played. It was only two years ago where he was almost a point-per-game player as the Dallas Stars went to the Stanley Cup Finals. So Klingberg, as the offensive defenseman that he is, the guy who can produce, as well as a right-handed D, was seen by many as a pretty valuable asset on the free agency market. Now, there was a report or two going out there saying that Klingberg wanted a long-term deal. With Dallas, he wanted the ability to re-sign for eight years, and in the free agent pool, we had ourselves some news saying that he was looking around for a contract that was in the six million AAV range, around seven-ish years, but his agency was not able to help him find that. Now, there are many reasons to fire one's agent. If you're just unsatisfied with what their work has been doing, then that's one of them. But you have yourselves a brand new management supporting John Klingberg, and they have gotten him a contract which is one year long with the Anaheim Ducks. Now, we actually did have some Kevin Weeks action going on earlier in the day where he said it's going to be in the neighborhood of seven-ish million dollars a season. This is the tweet. It has a video on it on Twitter. We also had ourselves Eric Stevens on Twitter as well, going out there and confirming the Kevin Weeks report of the Ducks signing John Klingberg on a one-year, seven million-ish dollar deal. And then the Ducks themselves made themselves a post on the website. Let's move the Streamlabs thing over here. By the way, it's really slow today because it's a pretty big heat wave here in Vancouver. So my computer is absolutely fried and it's causing my software Streamlabs to lag as a result. So I apologize for that. But take a look at what it says over here on the Anaheim website. We are extremely excited to add John Klingberg to our group, said Ducks GM Pat Verveek. John is a gifted player who can quarterback a power play and give us needed scoring from the blue line. He also adds veteran leadership and character to our team. This entire write-up goes over Klingberg and how good he is. We kind of already talked about how good he is, so we're not going to go ahead and explore that. But what the Anaheim Ducks pretty much did here was they paid $7 million, roughly, to get pretty much a first-round pick at the 2023 NHL trade deadline. Because you're going to trade John Klingberg away. This team is not really in a position where you're going to have long-term, sustained success with a one-year, $7 million contract. This is, for all intents and purposes... A an opportunity for Klingberg to go over to a team that isn't really all too great, score a boatload of points, and then get traded with 50% salary retained to any team looking to add for their playoff run, and hopefully re-sign with that team as a 30-year-old long-term. I'd been seeing a lot of people memeing saying, oh, John Klingberg is going to be 30 when he needs his next contract, which means that Dallas Stars are going to go out there and overpay this guy to heck. But of course, that's only just a meme. We're probably going to see John Klingberg play a whole bunch of minutes, get a whole bunch of points, and then maybe sign on to another team longer term. It's the old Taylor Hall move with Buffalo, except this time Klingberg didn't really have a choice because all the teams that he probably would have been able to sign with long term for an extended amount of money, they already made their moves. They already signed their guys that they wanted to sign, and Klingberg just wasn't a part of the plan because the agency was not able to help him out in that respect. So, Talk to the comments your thoughts about John Klingberg going over to the Anaheim Ducks. I hope you enjoyed this Vrishaj Rolls 9 and bye.